What's going on guys and gals, my name is Shadox, and this week on the Armory, we will be taking a look at the starting weapon for the Medic class, the Sten Submachine Gun. This video will help you understand the weapon, its strengths, its weaknesses, and give you some guidance on how best to utilize this firearm. Let's get started. The Sten SMG is a bit of an odd duck. It doesn't have good damage, good rate of fire, really good anything. It's about the most average gun you could possibly ask for, and this is probably to be expected considering the gun only costs $10 to make. Let's start out with the damage of the Sten. Oddly, it seems that it shares the same max damage as the assault rifles at 24 damage per bullet, with a minimum damage of 13. The Sten will hold 5 bullets to kill out to about 23 meters, and between 23 and 40 meters it will require 6 bullets to kill, and past about 60 meters will require 7. With a pedestrian rate of fire of 540 rounds per minute, this gives the weapon a minimum time to kill of 444 milliseconds, which is laughable compared to most other automatic firing weapons and even semi-automatics in Battlefield 5. What this means is that if all things in a firefight are even, you and your opponent start firing at the exact same time, you will lose that engagement about 90% of the time unless you can get some headshots. The Sten does have a headshot multiplier of 2.04, so you'll deal 49 damage at maximum, but this means that you'll still need at least two headshots and a body shot to finish off a target at full health. Thankfully, this weapon's almost non-existent recoil makes landing accurate bursts easy to learn and accomplish. Let's move on over to the specializations to see how they affect the weapon. Since the Sten is a starter weapon, you will find specializations already equipped when you first start out with the Medic class. These specializations focus on reload speed, recoil reduction, and aimed accuracy. Once you hit weapon rank 4, you will be able to reset the weapon and choose new specializations. For the Sten, we have the following specializations. First, quick reload for 15% faster reload times. Quick aim for 33% faster aim down sight time. Enhanced grip for large reduction to hip fire spread. Ported barrel for decreased horizontal recoil. Polished action for an additional small decrease to hip fire spread barrel bedding for increased aimed accuracy, recoil buffer for decreased vertical recoil, and finally custom stock for improved accuracy while moving and shooting. Now let's take a look at the different recoil patterns to see if we can figure out which path is most beneficial to this weapon. Okay, so even in this configuration, without any decreases to horizontal or vertical recoil, we can see that the recoil pattern is pretty much straight vertical, and fairly minimal compared to most other weapons. This means that decreasing our recoil and improving accuracy isn't vital to the success of this weapon. Due to this, I would argue that the benefit to the hipfire spread given by the left side of the progression tree is far more beneficial to the weapon and your overall playstyle. This is the main branch that I would choose. Overall, my recommendations are quick reload, enhanced grips, polished action, and custom stock. The quick reload takes the stock reload times, which are 2.5 seconds for a tactical reload and 3 seconds for a full reload, down to 1.8 seconds and 2.6 seconds respectively. Since your engagement ranges should be below 20 meters for this weapon, spending less time reloading is far more valuable than saving ADS time. The enhanced grips and polished action play well to this as well, as having tighter hipfire spread will allow you to push the limits of the Sten's hipfire out as far as possible and allowing you to get quicker kills. The last choice of custom stock is mainly to try to help out the weapon's shortcomings, which is range. This perk allows you to have less spread penalty for moving and shooting, although this only applies to aimed fire and not hipfire. I personally went with this setup for the vast majority of my mastery kills, and it helped me significantly during the assignments that required hipfire kills on objectives. While this weapon has okay hipfire spread, it's not phenomenal, especially when moving. This can be made better by crouching when hipfiring, 
and it's a nice way to stay low and clean up objective areas. But a downside is that since the majority of people aim center mass, you're more prone to getting shot in the head, and this is more evident the closer you are to the target. Overall, this weapon just does not stack up to the others. Its rate of fire is slow, TTK is slow, hip fire spread is subpar, but it has the lowest horizontal recoil of any weapon I've tested so far. To be honest, I would not recommend using this weapon. Your first weapon unlock on the meta class gives you one of, if not the best close quarter weapons in the game, the Suomi, and later on the MP28 or MP40 easily beat the Sten at range. So I would only use this weapon on more open maps like Hamada and Eris if you do not have those other weapons unlocked. You can do well with this weapon, but its potential pales in comparison to the other options in your armory. My name is Shadox, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Thank you.